Hi everybody, this is Tiffany. I hope everyone's having a great day. I came on and give a prophetic word, but before we get into the word, let's pray. Dear Father God, Matthew 18, 20 says, where two or more are gathered in your name, you will be there. So we join together today and we pray that the Holy Spirit fills with every we are on the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray and I ask that you seal every crack with your love, protection, and the precious blood of Lord Jesus. So whatever will come from the enemy will not be able to enter and disrupt your will in any way. I will adamantly use the sword of the Spirit to guide the loss to you, Father God. Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon formed against us will prosper, and any tongue risen against us in judgment I condemn. To God be the glory. We thank you, Father God, and we love you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So guys, this message is for two types of people. Um, but before we get into the dream, <laughs> I'm going to give a little pep talk. Okay, so I know there's some people that still, I guess, half in the world, half out. There's some youngins on here um, or might bump into this video. But I just want to give <laughs> a little pep talk about the information and the images, photos that you may be sending to other people. Um, if there, it's suggestive images of yourself to someone that you might be dating or someone that you think is your future husband, a prospect or whatever, um, please don't do that. Do not send any sexual images um, to this person um, because that image will be shown to everybody, okay? The next person is the, that this might be for it, is information private information so it could be private images or private information <laughs> either way it's very private and the outline of this dream is the agenda is to embarrass you and show and tell whatever it is to other people okay so please think twice before sending any sexual images to someone that you think you can trust Think twice about it, pray about it. Um, just don't do it, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Just don't, but you don't have to take my word for it. You know, pray to Father God about it. But if this message is for you, then if the person's agenda is to embarrass you. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the dream. Um, so this dream was, I was in the bed with a guy that was my, I guess my, my man in the dream it wasn't like i felt like he was my husband it was more so someone that i was dating um so i was in the bed with him in a compromising position um and then um i was blindfolded um when i got blindfolded um his friend was passing by right and he called his friend over like come here come here come here and then uh, they were like scanning my body like they were looking for something like they actually was combing to see what they can find but i'm laying there i'm aware of it but i'm just i i don't see it so it was funny at first and then it turned out to an all-out argument in front of people it was just all my business was in the street everybody in the facility heard it um there was a female that was friends with the guys um that was there and you could tell that it was some tension between me and her but the tension was coming more so from her side it's like she was jealous but it didn't break down why um the jealousy was coming from her it was tension between me the guys and her um they made it very blatantly clear that i was the outsider once that information they obtained the information meaning they obtained those images and every my, my body parts was like splattered like everyone saw it like they saw it he called his friend over and then they plastered it all over like they showed everybody they talked about it it was just everybody now knew my business um so the girl was behind me and then she was not standing behind me or sitting it was like she was kneeling behind me so she was low on the floor right and then her hand was like extended like she extended her hand but i like looked back and then i saw her and then like she took her hand back but then i moved to the side because i didn't trust her being behind my back so um yeah and after that it was just yeah they made it just blatantly clear that i was the outsider so i was hurt and then i was like pretty much devastated about it because it's like the guy was a puppet to them so it was like he was people he was trying to people please um in a way by backstabbing me um yeah and then i woke up so that was the end of the dream um let's start with the girl right let me break down let you guys know what i got um hold on 
okay so the girl extending her hand pretty much was um someone's gonna come in a way where they're gonna extend like uh, extend their hand to you like a handout they're gonna you know it's gonna be like they're gonna be doing something sneaky behind your back that's why she was so low and she was extending her hand so be very cautious on who comes to extend a helping hand to you um because it's like they're all in cahoots together to embarrass you um i'm i always say this tell your story before somebody else can tell your story um don't share things with people that you would be embarrassed if they told the world about if this is the case be very careful and cautious who you choose to share your intimate details with because the guy that i was with it wasn't like this was a like he tried not to it was like he was planted to extract this information from me and then embarrass me with it and then everybody was like in cahoots together and i was standing there looking devastated looking defeated and embarrassed at the same time um while everybody was just laughing it was like a joke to them but embarrassing for me um okay showing others things that was only for his eyes that's the goal to put you in a compromising position to get all this information from you to then plaster you all over the place um deliberately blindfolded me because it was planned to betray my trust um yeah but it's right in your face as well so this situation is in your face you can see it it's not like they they're doing it behind your back they're doing it while you're right there you just can't see it for some reason um sexual suggestive way because i typed the word vulgar by mistake and i left that in just to show you guys what this dream was really about it's more so trying to get your sexual intimate details that no one knows but they're trying to get that from you to then tell everybody else uh a bed is a place that you sh you share um things with people that you're close to a bed is something private like i like you won't just invite anyone to your bedroom you're not gonna invite anyone in your bed so a bed is like you're it's very close very intimate very private they're looking for private information that only god knows that's the type of information they trying to get from you okay and everybody knows what that is okay um so yeah so jealousy was the common denominator out of the whole dreams males and females so what they were jealous of i don't know you had a relationship with this person he betrayed you um the girl is jealous of you but it's like she was a friend it's not like it was like a like an ex-girlfriend kind of feel it was like they were all just friends and you were the target that's what it felt like it, it felt like they were just friends you know uh so yeah looking for your business with a fine to comb i mean they were combing it combing my body like this well the out the outcome of this dream and this message is the goal is to embarrass you so to prevent that from happening ask father god to heighten your discernment ask father god to reveal um the things that are hidden from you that you need to be aware of um ask father god to reveal the people that you need to stay away from um and just be very careful and cautious on the things that you divulge because that is the goal to get down and dirty into your personal business to plaster it all over the six o'clock news like they really want to embarrass you i it was nothing i could do it's like you couldn't even say anything i just felt like helpless embarrassed so yeah just try to prevent that from happening um if anyone's asking you guys for any suggestive pictures um just don't do it you don't have to send anybody anything um you know love yourself first get the love be filled with father god first know that you are a queen know that you are a king you do not have to show your body to anybody you do not have to show yourself to anybody for them to like you or for them to approve that they now can date you because you have this certain physique don't send anybody anything okay do not um and that's it just you know if you don't want everyone in the world to know a certain thing don't tell anybody okay all right guys i hope this message helps somebody i hope everyone has a wonderful saturday and i'll be back soon god willing god bless bye guys